Here is a quick guide to putting a hard drive into an EMU sampler. This is my eSynth Ultra, it's part of the Emulator 4 range. Um, it came out in the early millennium, so it's quite old, but it still does a great job. And that's why I still use it. At the other end there, you can see that uh, the hard drive's already bolted in. I've just done that. Um, like a lot of EMU samplers and other samplers of the time, EMU only recognised certain brands of hard drive. Um, Quantum being one and Seagate being another. This is a Quantum Fireball. It's a 3.2 gigabyte hard drive, which is just enough for what I'll need for this machine because the sample sizes are generally quite small. So this is a an IDE hard drive because SCSI hard drives are getting really difficult to find now. And the ultra range of samplers actually started supporting IDE hard drives as well. So first thing I need to tell you is there's a, a number one next to the first pin of all connectors on this board and indeed any board. That needs to be lined up with the red strip or pink strip that's on the ribbon cable. That's pin one. If you don't put it the right way round, it won't work. It's simple as that. It just won't read it. So, we'll put that in there. Like so. And then this side will connect up to the hard drive like that. The connectors are keyed, so you can't get them the wrong way round. And... go. Next thing you need to know, and this is very important, is the power connector for the hard drive. Um, for whatever reason, EMU decided to swap the two outer pins around from what the standard is. Um, ordinarily, the standard in most computers is this pin here would be the 5 volt pin and the other side here would be the 12 volt pin. EMU have swapped these two round, so this is the 12 volt and that's the 5 volt. The two centre pins are ground pins, so you don't need to worry about those. But what you do need to do is most likely modify if you can't find a um, power cable that's exactly what you need for this. You'll need to swap the red and yellow wires around in the connector head, like what I've done there. Then it should work. If you don't do that, you will fry your hard drive. So keep that in mind. That goes in there like that. And then we can power up. Let's have a look at this. go if I press the disk button quantum fireball shows up there excellent